として編み上げていったという現象があります。Um, in thinking about this aspect, this idea that there are formal structures that are being made in the moment,、um, there are invitations to improvisation in formal structures, and that all of this is kind of happening.、Uh, Within a context that places the musicians in some kind of social and embodied、uh, context.、Um, to me, repetition、uh, and imitation, especially repetition, is a kind of key concept. To me, it's the thing that I think explains a lot of what's happening here. To think about patterns of repetition and difference rather than improvisation and composition. And actually, I want to go back to my drawing of concentric circles to explain why I think repetition is such a useful idea or concept to work with. I think we usually think about repetition、uh, in jazz at the very lowest level.、Uh, but actually, there are a bunch of rings. I'm not sure how many.、Um, uh, at the lowest level, there are repetition of things like, well, beats, right? Check a doom, 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 check a doom. That's very repetitive. Uh, that's the beat and the、uh, groove pattern. It's a very small scale. And the next scale up is probably something still people think about. And that's the kind of repetitions that make up a piece. So, Sweet and Lovely is based on a form where、um, you know, it goes A, A, B, A. That's repetition, repetition, difference, repetition. That's really common.、Um, and then the next, actually, the whole performance of that is a repetition of A, A, B, A, 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 B, A, 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 B, A, 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 B, A. Repetition. Again, again.、Um, so, uh, I'll call that repetitions that make up form. Mm-hmm. 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 But then there are larger order repetitions that are going on. So,、um, for instance,、uh, these people played this tune over and over and over again together,、um, night after night. They were playing together six nights a week for about six months,、uh, and they played Sweet and Lovely. Not every night, but lots and lots of nights.、Um, I'm going to call this day to day. And the next layer, you know, Monk played this piece over and over again throughout his life. Repetition is key to understanding biography. And then, I might have drawn one too many circles.、Um, and then the, the next one is that not only. Did Monk play this piece over and over again? But in fact,、um, the playing of pieces over and over again,、uh, the repetition of pieces in general and of, of playing,、um, which is a really abstract kind of repetition, admittedly, but is more or less what 
makes jazz history. I like this because it allows for a mapping from um, the piece as a thing that has lots and lots of levels that move from very small scale to very large scale and performance as mapping that way. Uh, and then, you know, more broadly, interaction mapping that way. The social process of music mapping uh, that way. So these two things, these two sets of concentric circles, I don't know that I want to um, think of them as a direct one-to-one -one, um, analogy, but they show processes that work the same kinds of ways. All right. Uh, so that's mind. The next is interactivity. Um, and here I think a lot of research has focused on textual aspects of interaction in jazz. Um, those things that get called intermusicality where, uh, you know, I'm playing a song and in the middle of it I throw in maybe a quote like which is from a cartoon or right from uh, Carmen. Um, and uh, this can, the, the idea of intermusicality can be used to talk about social interaction in musical improvisation more generally, but I'm not sure it always has. I think it's usually used to talk about the music itself, um, and I want to think about it in this larger term, larger sense. Um, not only swarm intelligence, which has this idea that each of the insects maybe doesn't really know what all is going on, to actually other things where, in fact, we think about the ways that musicians are exercising memory and reflection and revision in the process of interacting with one another, um, so that perhaps they are hearing the interactive gestalt, uh, hearing the whole total sound of what's going on, and also using what I call focal awareness um, to pay attention to one thing or another thing, draw things out of the total kind of sound, but be able to hear all of that at once. Um, and I want to talk actually about a moment of failure where interaction fails to happen um, because I think moments of failure are really interesting and they're often useful moments to think about success. Um, Um, this is from the same concert, Monk and Coltrane playing together. It's the song Evidence, uh, which was a, one of Monk's compositions. Um, 